What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to another episode of my Hungarian Holy Roman Empire playthrough where of course we're trying at the very least to one tag the old world and are hoping for a, uh, a one faith um, doing what as much as I can really to, to uh, allow us to get that one faith but I'm a little bit, um, I'm not so confident as I've said many times because there's a lot of the world remaining. We're doing a good job converting it up, man. But there's still a lot remaining. That is, of course, uh, heathens. Now, in the previous episode, we just took out Korea. It's four level ones. Oh, yeah, twos are so, so trash. Let's just get rid of them, I guess. Uh, and apparently he's got rebels really close to accepting their demands, which is that. But it's that one province. We took care of it. No problem. So I did want to begin integrating Mongolia, as Mongolia has really done just about everything that he can here. Uh, we've expanded him as much as possible, and I, he doesn't seem to be working on uh, converting any of the provinces that he has remaining for some reason. These guys are pretty unpredictable. Going to be integrating him as he it does not even have religious ideas, so I don't blame him at the end of the day. Uh, however, this dude should be converting everything that we've given him. He's got no real excuse not to. We did just overextend him. Maybe that's slowing him down. Uh, we are giving him subsidies. So, yeah. Same goes for Yi, of course. Yi has converted the absolute vast majority of everything we've given him. And he's doing the best job out of all of us. All of our subjects at just converting stuff. Almost like he's a human being. Almost like he's a human being himself. Um, I'm wondering where's our colonists. I want to... Uh... Yeah, there is one here. I want to recall them. And uh, we're going to be sending our colonists out to the world. <coughs> The New World, rather. Now, I think if I colonize anywhere in the Mexican region, it should be... No. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think about that, actually. What I could do is if we colonize that, I could hand it over to New Castile, the province. Um, Jeez, but then it would have overextension. So I'd have to give it to British Mexico, actually. We have to give these provinces we colonize because we would own them directly. We don't actually have our own uh, Castilian, rather um, Mexican, uh, hung Hungary. Uh, so I, I don't know. I'm confused. I, I, I wonder which one these will go to. If they go to New Castile automatically and they're caught up, then he can call th that up. That's what I was thinking. But at the same time, um, yeah, I can't be bothered thinking that scenario through. Either way. Because there's so few nations remaining, we're going to be able to be at peace. And uh, speaking of peace, I plan to be at peace here until we've actually caught up all of our provinces. Because we've got plenty of time remaining in the game. However, I am wondering if um, we should be truce breaking. And I think, I think if we truce break, uh, I want to go up to 200 papal influence. Uh, I'd be happy to boost our stability once. Because our religious unity is really good nowadays, it's over 100. Uh, so it, sh it should only cost about 90 admin, and we can afford that. One one shot of uh, 90 admin to boost our stability from 0 to, uh, you know, whatever. From 0 to 1. And then... Um jam that papal influence into two stability so yeah let's just we're chilling actually this episode we're mostly chilling until we uh get up near that 200 papal influence and i'm wondering how old is my rule he's yeah he's fairly old nowadays fairly old but i uh, kind of hoping that he just lives on it would be unfortunate if our heir was to die who's uh getting you know middle-aged himself 35 um, it feels good converting these Sunni provinces up, though, guys, for real. This guy should not be suffering attrition, please. Do you want to, uh, go up here, these farmlands? 
So the question is, who do we truce break? I was talking about this at the end of last episode, and our truce comes up in five years with Bachmanis. So I actually think he is the ideal nation among the rest to uh, not truce break. We shouldn't be truce breaking him, in my opinion. Uh, the longest truce is with Ming, but the thing about Ming is we can take him out in one war. So, in a sense, we can just wait 10 years and take him out. We've got plenty of time. So I think, nice, we just got 10 admin from that event. I think it might actually be Daviet. Even though the truce comes up in 6 years, which is not that long, uh, there's kind of no reason not to truce break. We can reduce our war exhaustion and... Uh, as long as we have revolts, we can boost our absolutism with harsh treatment. We're swimming in military points right now. So I think it will actually be Daviet. And uh, we're going to do, obviously, a gigantic uh, feed back to uh, our little dude, who should be able to stabilize these provinces easily because they are um, his core. And he's going to begin, considering he has religious ideas, he should be able to convert them uh, as soon as they are convertible. And uh, according to these modifiers, cool. Cool. Free Catholic province there. Excellent. Uh, what I was going to say is considering... No, it, it, this modifier stressed me out. Recently converted modifier, re religious zeal. But I think the, like latest i've seen them come up is like is like 1804 i think so i suggest a guy with religious ideas should be able to convert that like in in a decade easily that i would suggest so and i mean yeah i don't know we'll see integrating mongolia at a fairly good rate that's good to see 20 percent already uh, unfortunately, we're going to adopt, what, about six provinces that we need to convert ourselves. Uh, but it is what it is. It's just how it is. So why don't we position some troops, considering we're getting closer and closer. Daviet, last time we checked, he didn't have high-level forts, so he's going to be really, really easy to take out. And uh, let's position some troops ready to just jump on him and wreck him. We've got a cathedral here, just checking. Just checking. Um, we're looking really nice and stable, there's like hardly a rebel faction around at all. In fact, rather than uh, boosting Naples, I don't think that it's Italian Naples, so it would be Neapolitan, yeah. Uh, I can't even think where, where Naples would be, Naples would be. I was going to say we should just harsh treatment people with our military power, but if they're going to be, like, over 45 cost, then forget it. Forget that. Never mind. But, uh, yep. Heading over towards Daviet, or whatever their face is called. Day... Day I Viet. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, damn it. I should have automatically done that. I keep making that mistake. Yeah, some of you guys are just going to have ex to accept. Uh, I know most of you do, but um, somebody corrected me on that one. And I, I actually don't even know how to pronounce it properly. My pronunciation... I'm pretty ignorant, guys. I'm ignorant. Alright? That's just how it is. Ignorant. And there's a lot to remember. This game's done some good for my ignorance, guys. I'm a little bit less ignorant since playing EU4. Learned some stuff, some geography and stuff. Which is cool. Ah, we're, we're really converting, man. Feels good. We're really converting. Like, all of the Middle East is getting hardcore convertified. It's getting converted for Pond. Whoa, whoa. All of a sudden, we have, like, no military leaders. I did not realize that was the case. Go to grasslands. All 
Alrighty. Peasants are okay in our subject. Not too worried about that. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'd be willing to choose break here in a moment. It would be really unfortunate, though, like, if our leader died or something and we lost ability. I'd be all, feel sad, man. Ah, oh, of course. I see where the Naples are. I should have known that one. Dummy. I mean, I know where Nepal is, so... Use your bloody brains, monk. Use your bloody brains. I'm just doing a quick once-over, trying to make sure I'm not, like, forgetting anything. Um, I just want a random YOLO fort up there. Go to... Do we own, like, grasslands or anything? No, it's all wood. Step... There we go. Grasslands. Go there. Stop attritifying me. The attrition during war, of course, gives us, um, war exhaustion. So let's try to avoid attrition where we can. All these cathedrals and converting at a faster rate definitely affects the rate that we've been getting papal influence as well. Uh, from my experience here, we've been getting a decent amount. Hey, cool, check it out. We've still got some of the, uh, what are they called? Strauss-ty units chilling around since back in the days when we integrated Russia. And I think it's time. Let's go. So do we want to reconquest? I don't think so. It's all about that imperialism. I mean, the thing is, though, if we give him the occupation, uh, no, we can be at peace afterwards, can't we? So we're just going to hand the provinces over. Here we go. Which means we can take some ourselves. Imperialism is definitely the way to go. Here we go. So we're going to boost our stabil uh, stability one time, and then uh, two times, and we're almost at three stability again. We're going to reduce our war exhaustion twice because screw it, because we can just do that at this stage. And then we should only need to do this twice, but we're looking for those sweet 45s. Just try to be somewhat efficient with the points, you know. There we go. So absolutism should be back at 100. It's almost as if that choose break never happened. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, just to clarify, if you guys are not exactly sure what's happening, we're going to go for Imperialism and pretty much 100% him, and then give all of this over. So, because we shouldn't suffer overextension with Malachia. Do you know what I'm saying? The issue that you usually suffer when you hand over provinces uh, shouldn't be the case because they're, they are his core. So let's make this nice, quick, and smooth if possible. And, um, oh, he turned a fort on there. Let's try to rush that fort. Yeah, we're going for the 100%. So there's going to be very little of him remaining. And uh, I'm pretty sure... That, uh... Yeah, even a massive war would result in, in a truce of short enough at this stage. We've got so much time remaining in the game, right? Life's good in the hood. Some would say that life's good in the hood, guys. And by the hood, I mean the world! The world is our neighborhood. Because we own everybody and everything. Every single thing. Malakia will do a good job helping us out just sieging some rando provinces. Yeah, so let's build up more and more Papal Influence if we can to uh, do the same thing. At this stage, we don't need the Manpower, Mercantilism, or, or Tax. So uh, I'm just saving up our Papal Influence to do the same thing again. Uh, probably the plan is to go in against uh, Bachmanis and then uh, Truce Break him after that. Because this guy will take two... I mean, he's he's got a lot of War Score cost, and then... If we're just coring it up ourselves, if we're just blatantly coring up his land, 
Uh, yeah, it might be closer to three wars worth. I hope not. I hope there's only two wars remaining. Remember, he does have these, which we can take, and they, they don't give us any overextension, of course. That's what I'm saying. Even though they're pretty badly developed anyway, uh, they don't give us any overextension because Australia will take them. He's got the odd island around as well. Oh, of course, I knew there were islands, dude. That's what we want to go um, uh, send some of our colonies colonists to the Philippines. And uh, another thing I want to do, I should manually convert these up as well. Because I hate island rebels. So I'll try to remember that. We can give the Middle East a bit of a rest without converting. Uh, I forgot where this guy's capital is. Oh, is it right there? Yes, it is. Wow, okay. I could take his capital as that is the war goal. Nice. They take no time at all. Six months. It's good. Become Catholic. So let's have a look at what the 100% should be here. Going for um, all of the core provinces, like I said. Which I'll have to kind of uh, check really quickly exactly what that is. That's already 60%. Wow. Let's have a look. Something like that, I think. I think that might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yes, it is. Okay, but we're going all the way up to 100 Something like that. Cool. Cool. Nice and easy to take him out. Oh, result in a huge uh, truce. So theoretically, we could take less, and it would just shorten the truce. But I think we should be able to uh, easily build up towards. Um, I mean, we just have so much time. It's not an issue. By that time, we might consider truce breaking him again. Like if we feel like it. It ain't no thing. I'm not worried about it. And of course, giving the provinces over should uh, result in pretty good relations, hopefully. Well, at least in terms of liberty, desire, and so on, with this faction. Speaking of this faction, let's pull back some of our diplomats who are at 200. Because I hate pulling them back, and the emissaries take so long. Pulling them back on demand. Take up my Diplo for negative 10, Admin for negative 15. Military can be ticked up shortly as well. Make us that much more OP when we're like fighting. Like this guy has access down here. Let's just go kill these fools. We're going to be able to reach the appropriate amount of war score very easily and very soon which is good to see it's got to take his capital there it is nice short war oh no why did what happened there the occupations changed don't even know what happened there but what i do know is we seem to be able to take more now the hell Seemed a bit weird. The war school costs reduced. Oh, some of the occupations were occupied by our subject. Because he actually took them. Considering the war score. Yeah, i got to keep that in mind. If he makes occupations, we should flip it to our control. So that it's 25% less. Sweet. Sweet. Alright.
Alrighty. Let's go find him. Where is this guy? Dude, Liberty Desire is such an issue. What a, what a joke. Alrighty. So. Giving him provinces. This is what we're all about, right? The tedium. We love it. This is what we live for. Is it alphabetical? Kind of looks like it, but I think A is just down the bottom for some reason. So there we go. Um, now, if you guys are wondering, I am giving him more. Uh, I also want to overextend him. He does have religious ideas, so my plan is to uh, give him his core, but also overextend him as well. If you feel me. Nice. So his liberty desire is improving, even though he's getting more and more massive, uh, thankfully. So that was overextension for him, but it's alright. He can handle it. Oops. Okay, grant this one to him as well. Nan. Where's Nan at? Okay, that gives him four, some of extension, but he's good, he's good, he's good. I'm just making sure I know where his bloody core is. It's this whole area, alright. Ah. <sighs> I think it's that area, that one, A is right down the bottom, this one, K, uh, where's K, this one, C, and what, does he have that one as well? I don't know, but let's find out, we can still overextend him a bit. That's not what it's called. That is what it's called. Uh, did he... The one I clicked on, did he have core there as well? No, that's his entire core. I mean... Yeah. We own some of his core. But we don't plan to give that to him, do we? So, uh, yeah. What's his stability at? One? Yeah, could be better. Still. I'm going to... What's our overextension at? Yeah, it's high. Thankfully, we're about to core up anyway. Um... Where you at? Yeah, his liberty desire is bloody good now. Cool. Cool. But I want to give him more provinces. And the ones that he he doesn't he hasn't owned previously, he's gonna begin converting, putting his some of his missionaries to to work. Where the hell is that province? Why don't I see it? Oh, because there's way more peas up here, you noob. Right. Uh, he's gonna be able to put some of these missionaries to work, which is uh cool. Because if they were owned by Daya Viet for so long, and not him, there will be no modifier, you know, to where he can't convert it. If you know what I'm saying. And he should nice and self-autonomously convert the provinces that he can, like, as the uh, modifier disappears, because... They were converted over a sort of spectrum of time. But oh, jeez, where the heck is H? This alphabetical is throwing me off how it's upside down, man. Is it just me or is it one random patch? Did they just... It's the same with the ledger. They just changed to make it... It's still alphabetical, but it's upside down. Where A is on at the top. Oh my goodness, where? I can't see any bloody provinces. Is that it? That's it. 96. Okay, in. 99. That's as good as we're going to get. Now, I think if we let time go, sweet. We're not going to extend it anymore. Perfect. Perfect. That nation just got a lot bigger. Damn. And of course, the idea is that he will, uh, he will convert everything you know eventually it's going to take a time some time he's going to be the last subject that we actually integrate 
uh ye and i mean this guy we can begin integrating like pretty soon actually we just want him to um convert what we have given him and then we're going to be integrating him um cool guys feeling pretty good now he might suffer some r rebellions so le let's put some of our units uh on on farmlands grasslands around some of the provinces that he's got uncored but uh we're pretty much done here and uh, believe it or not i'll try to unpause the game because of what i'm about to say uh we actually don't have that much to do like we're actually at peace here mostly and um we're waiting waiting for our truce up because there's really not that much of a uh pressure cooker under our butt cheeks i feel like we have uh we've got time it's a good feeling we've got time yeah where did we have a guy in the philippines i'm trying to recall these uh colonists but uh, I don't remember. Uh, we should have another one going down somewhere. There he is. I'm glad I did that. Recall him. And uh, send him in elsewhere. Get rid of this totemist. I just want to see Catholic over here in the New World. South America is completely Catholic. It's good. And uh, life's good in the hood, guys. And really uh, sort of enjoying this. Um, you know, doing my best for the one faith, but... It's kind of up to the... It's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. I find it hard to tell. Uh, it's somewhat out of my hands. Like, let me think here. Let me think. One option we have... We've got Diplo slots open. So, we could we could do a uh, Indian. We could release an Indian, even though we've already called the provinces. I mean, it's not a limitation on us, is it, the coring? Uh, just on the off chance that he has religious ideas, and uh, we could have him help us out converting. Uh, I'm trying to think in terms of integrating. Are we going to be good integrating everybody? Mongolia was done pretty damn quickly. We're going to be integrating this guy pretty soon as well. Yi, soon after that, once he calls up this region. Uh, yeah, this is considering though. Oh, wow, this is with the Annex Subjects modifier. We have negative four. Yeah, I feel like integrating... Uh oh, what's that? Croatians. I feel like uh, integrating is, is not a limitation for us right now. So uh, let's pray to the RNG. I'm looking for a subject where he only has like, I mean, it'll be all right if he has a couple provinces, but ideally only one province core. And I don't know the Indian region very well. So it looks like that guy, Gu Guandana. Let's have a look for Guandana. See if we can see the Indian group uh, here. Around here and see how many provinces no it's going over to Asia uh, I would think it would be up here like it's Punjab hmm looking for Guandana forgive the tedium guys this could make the difference between you know the one faith or not so Really? I would help if we could find him, though. There needs to be, like, a search in this list, you know? Search for a guy. Ah, there he is. Okay, two. Two provinces. One is right there, and the other... Oh, it's right there. Alrighty. I'm willing to do that. Because he's close enough to just be given pro granted provinces. Um... They, oh, with the following faith, Shia. So we'd have to force religion on them. Okay, that's right. Uh, please have religious ideas. <gasps> yes! The dream! Fantastic! Let's get this guy to convert our land. Yes! Alrighty. Gonna give him some of India. Um, so he'll convert these two provinces given some time. And, uh... Yeah. 
convert more land that we give them. Alrighty, cool. Lucked out there. So we had one other opportunity to do that as well. Um, you know, hoping to roll religious ideas there. Sweet. I think that's a good move. And uh, yeah, we. what was I saying? We actually don't have that much to do. Like, let's have a look. When does Otris come up again? Yeah, three years. Wow. It seems pretty crazy to me that uh, it's come down to this, but we actually don't have... Uh, we can just chill for three years. In fact, I think I could even turn the bloody speed up, which just feels weird even saying that, but I think it's the case. Um, Ming's truce is... Yeah, so we should, should definitely... Ming was probably the next truce break target. No, 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 no. The next truce break, break target would be... Uh, Bachmanis. We would declare war on Bachmanis and then truce break Bachmanis afterwards. We've got plenty of time. Ming is under 100%, so we're going to easily give that away and annex all of that. And because we gave that away, we should be totally fine in terms of uh, overextension ourselves. So Ming is uh, one more war away. And uh, we're still ranked second <laughs> in score. Apparently whatever we do is not uh, worth much score. I'm not a big fan of even caring or looking into score for that kind of reason. It's whatever. Because I'm, I'm certainly not going to play for score. It's just ridiculous. In my opinion. And uh, yeah. Life's good in the hood. So I plan, obviously, that's going to make my life so much easier against Bachmanis. Because what we can do is just 100% him. And then uh, basically reduce our overextension a little bit by handing off provinces. So I'll come, I'll annex just like a big northern chunk, and then give like max him out with uh, handing him provinces. So we should uh, got to remember all this nonsense. Influence nation, try to uh, help stabilize him, etc. And he's already converting his provinces up, so he's going to be chilling at 100% religious unity. That's great. That's really great. I'm happy. I'm wondering if this will... Ah, oh, some of them have the modifier on them. Jeez. Damn it. Yeah. Some of them were recently converted. Uh, he is... He's, in, he's literally converting everything that he can. What a... What a good guy. What a good subject. Appreciate you. The ones that he's not converting have a modifier on them. That's a shame. Because it kind of want, makes me... I wanted to integrate him. But that's going to kind of want me to keep him around for a while. It might actually be Yi for that reason. That we integrate uh, first. Or next, rather. What the heck is this? Famous woman. Sweet. And it's an admiral, or all right, all right, a little bit unfortunate there, because we don't really care at this stage about a, a rank two advisor that costs less, because we just go for the rank threes, threes all day. Yep. So if we're going to be at peace, let's have a look around for uh, subjects that don't have much relations and uh, improve. Ye old relations. Oopsie, I let a like few days go past there. Not converting. Let's try to not do that at all, monk. Gotta convert. Be vigilant. When I hear this, I pause and we convert ASAP. Eleven months. There's no cathedral. Become cathedral. making some money this is what we can spend the money that we're making on become built
Give me three missionary strength in every damn province in the world. Yeah, so I'm interested to see... Uh, there should be some provinces, like these ones that he didn't own previously, that he can begin converting. But just about every core... Uh-huh, not all of them. Cool. Just about every core has that modifier, unfortunately. Which is... Uh, going to prevent him. But he, he, yeah, he's able to convert some of them, his own core, that he owned in the past. Awesome. It's working out well, dude. Everything's working out well. Don't unpause the game, monk, you imbecile. Convert provinces. Convert ye old province arenos. At this point, it's kind of getting ridiculous building them here, but... Every little bit helps, you know. I mean, imagine if it made the difference. So, if we have the money, I'm going to do it. Again, shout out to those of you who are telling me I, I should have been doing this. Uh, appreciate you a lot, because that was a oversight on my account. Try to head up this whole region so that we don't, oopsie, that's Catholic, don't have to uh, ever look back. Now, I want to build one here as well, and that's going to involve destroying some random building that I don't care about. Alright, alrighty. Cool. So the reason I did that, guys, is because I'm, I'm going to start considering just doing it, reducing the tedium and just going down the list. Uh, but I want to make sure that we've got cathedrals in, like, every bloody province, I suppose. Now, I'm a little bit hesitant to do this just because we are get, actually getting low on money. Uh, well, let's do it. Look, some of these are actually giving us a nice reward, in fact. <laughs> because we <laughs> they're stated up territory so they would mm. Catholic already so just in case you don't know guys I'm hitting T to check the religious map but as soon as I actually build a building, it switches to the building map there. So, just in case I'm driving some of you nuts, I'm not switching back and forth. It actually does it automatically. Oh, that was Catholic. Um, I just keep changing it to the religious map mode to kind of get an eye for where I can convert. And then it keeps automatically changing it back. Yep, this is going to make me feel comfortable in the fact, uh, you know, I've had the attitude for a long time where I want to convert isolated regions uh, so that we stabilize them and not just convert provinces which can be converted fastest, if that makes sense. And uh, we've been doing that for a long time and uh, actually now we basically have, because this is pretty stable. These regions, especially well, considering it revolted, we've basically stabilized every region. It's just Asia that actually revolts. Uh, so for that reason, I think I'm not going to do it just yet because it takes a year for those to finish. But uh, yeah, we're just going to be able to have the luxury of just jamming the missionaries here, like back to back to back, and uh, take comfort in the fact that almost every single province in the world that is not Catholic uh, has a... Um, bloody cathedral in it now if we're going to be at peace we're making tons of money that's what i wanted to see dude better be making tons of money because our money is getting pretty low actually some of these forts are really high level 
uh, which we will keep. And the rest I will destroy. Uh, integrating Mongolia, obtaining a nice stack there from Mongolia. And uh, we're going to go around, obviously, converting his lands as well. Cool. Looking good, guys. Uh, it's a little bit shorter, guys, but I'm actually going to leave this episode here. I'll leave it unpaused. Funnily enough, this is crazy. It's crazy that we're not in a rush, 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 hurry. Uh, and we're not in a rush, 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 hurry because we're doing well. We're making good pace. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And yeah, in a year's time, we're just going to, to jam our missionaries down in the lowest places, considering we've hit up just about every isolated region such as this, uh, where we could expect to see some revolts if we were overextended. And uh, we're going to be saving up our papal influence, which hopefully using that method, going for fast conversions, we might make quicker. It will be hard to say, actually. But... um. Yeah, saving up the papal influence for more truce breakage. So the plan is going to be to go in against Bachmanis, take a big chunk, um, overextend myself completely. Well, 100% war score cost, which should make him very small, and uh, give as many provinces as we can here to this faction, which will hopefully put us under 100% overextension. And then uh, once we finish coring up our provinces, we're going to truce break him, him again. Our truce here is uh, 1804 plenty of time 14 years is ages but plenty of time remaining before the game is over and truce here is uh yeah 17 it's seven years from now 97 uh and one war on the both of those factions they're going to be eliminated there's very literal remaining it's going to come down to whether i can actually convert the whole world guys and obviously you know i've talked about it but we're going to be integrating these guys as they also convert uh for us having them do as much of the work as possible but then I will be uh, integrating them in a timely fashion, uh, making sure to integrate them before the end of the game, because at the very least, we want to be grabbing that one tag. But I think the one tag is looking um, good, and uh, the one faith, stay tuned to find out. I hope you guys are excited. I'm actually enjoying this. I feel like there's a glimmer of hope. That was a good move with the Indian guys. He's going to be able to convert some of this region for us. Um, the chokehold gets tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter on Asia. Uh, I'll see you next time, guys.